one thing that's really cool about the ArduSat, the CubeSat right here, is that it can also examine and get data on magnetic fields. Well, what if you don't have a magnet? I mean, who doesn't? Don't we all have magnets? No, we don't. So what we'll do is we'll make our own. All you need for this is a length of wire, some screws or bolts, and a battery or two. So I've got a nine volt and a 1.5 AA battery. So we're gonna take, the first one is gonna be a three foot length of wire, already pre-cut it, three feet. I actually measured it so I know because getting the distance right is what's gonna give us different data and it'll make it interesting. So we're gonna strip the ends off real quick. If you got wire strippers, you can use all sorts of different ways to do that. Strip the wires. We're gonna hook it on to the bolt. And what you wanna do is wind this around it so they're touching as best you can. If you don't do it right the first time, don't worry about it. Just do it again until you get it nice and tight. Perfect. Okay, so now I've got my two bare ends. I'm gonna put, let's see if we've got enough space to put magnet on. Yes, we do. Whoops. Slippery fingers. So now I'm making contact with one end of the wire on the top positive part of the battery, one on the negative part. That is getting warm in my hand, so I'm going to put it up to the sensor to see what type of magnetic field we can get. Wow, look at that. That was like an instant spike. Getting about 150 units right there. That's cool. We just made a magnet out of a battery, some wire, and a bolt. So, that's with the three foot length of wire. What do you think would happen if we use, oh, I don't know, a smaller set of wire, like half that amount? Let's try it. We're gonna use, this is a one foot length of wire. Wrap it. Attach the battery to it. Ooh, that's already getting warm. Okay, ready? Here we go. So we were about 20 before. Let's see what this one does. Boom! Do you see that spike? There it goes. So this one, I have to read the data on that. The y-axis is about, wow, that looks like it's almost 100. The x-axis magnetic field is jumping, wow, between about 70 and 100. That's getting really warm in my hand, so I'm going to finish this up real quick. You can see it right there. Electromagnet. Does size matter? Size, and in this case, length of wire, absolutely matters completely. Ow!